Hello artists and welcome back to art class. This week you are going to be making a self portrait, which remember is a picture that you draw of yourself. And we're gonna be using the artwork of Nate Williams to inspire us. His artwork is very simple. It shows a silhouette. Remember a silhouette is when you're looking at your profile. You're looking at yourself sideways. So we're gonna be drawing a silhouette self-portrait and then we're gonna be decorating it with different colors and things and words that tell me something about you. So this is a very simple picture. It's not looking realistic. It doesn't have to look exactly like you, but then we're going to use words and colors to tell us something about you. So let's learn how to draw the basic profile and then you guys can start brainstorming how you wanna decorate your self-portraits. To draw your silhouettes, I'm gonna do two of them for you. I'm gonna do one with a girl here and one with a boy here because there's a few differences you can do to customize it. So for both of them for the head, you're going to make a really big U shape. You want the head to take up most of the space on your paper and then we'll add some hair, a nose, lips, just a very simple neck shape and a shirt. And for the boys, I'm actually gonna show you how you can add a hat on top. So let's do one with the boy here. So I have the U shape here. I'm going to pick a side of the face for um, my nose and lips. So my nose is just a very simple sideways triangle shape. And then you can kind of add just the outline of some lips here. I'm going to do a very simple neck, two very short lines, and then bringing a line up, over, around, and down for your shoulders. Now the other thing that we're going to do is I'm gonna do the hat at the top and then we'll split up the shape of the face. So for the hat, I'm going to draw a line that goes across the top of the head, create the shape of the hat, it's kind of like a baseball cap, Here's the brim, and then I can split it into a couple different sections. I like to have my baseball hats with like that little button at the top, but you don't have to include that if you don't want to. Now I'm going to add an eye because if you're looking at a sideways profile, you would only see one eye. The iris and the pupil that you can make a color, so you can actually make your eye your eye color since it is a self-portrait. So the one that I made up here that I'll show you guys, my eyes are green, so I made sure that I made the eyes green. And now you're just gonna split your face into a few different sections to fill with words to say something about you. You don't wanna make too many sections unless of course you have like 20 different words to describe yourself, but I'm gonna separate it starting here at the eye. So I'm gonna have one, we'll make two, and I'm just gonna split this in half. So I one, two, three, four. I could also put some words about a person inside the hat. You're just gonna decorate the shirt plain. So that's it, very simple. If you don't wanna do a hat, you could change the direction of the hat. You could put the brim back here and have it be a backwards baseball cap. Or if you would like to do some short spiky hair or hair that's similar to yours, you can do that as well. For the girls over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm actually gonna turn my silhouette the other way. So I'll have nose, lips, I'm gonna add an eye, here's the iris and the pupil. Very basic neck shape. Like I said, a lot of these steps are the same no matter whether you're drawing a girl or a boy. And then I'm going to draw a line across the top of my head and then add hair. So for mine, if I tilt you guys up right here, I did kind of short hair, very similar to mine. It's very straight. Let's say, for example, you have more of a curly hairdo. You could kind of, you know, do like a wavy line. Maybe it's long. And there you go. And that can be your hair. I'm also going to cut it off right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the boy's picture, which is separate my face into different sections. Now, if I tilt you guys up just a smidge to look at my example up here, I decided to fill the different sections with different, there we go, so I can see you guys, uh, different colors and words to describe things that told you something about me. So you all know that I love Disney World, so I did that in my hair here. I love going to the beach. 
my favorite food are tacos. I love the New York Rangers and the New York Giants, so I decided to put them together in the same category. I like cats, and I like art. So I kind of filled the neck, the face, the hair. For the boys, you can fill the sections on the hat with like words and phrases that describe things that you like. I made sure to color my eye color, and I just made a fun polka dotted shirt design, but maybe you have a favorite outfit that you like to wear, you can decorate it like that, whatever you want. So after you draw the basic silhouette, you're going to decorate it with things that tell us about you, because it is a self-portrait. Make sure you take a picture of your work when you're done and send it to me so I can grade it, and I am looking forward to learning a little bit more about all of you through your Nate Williams-inspired self-portraits. And I'll see you guys again next time for art class. Bye!